Welcome for this new video on Solid Server Hands-On. We will cover today the backup and the remote backup features. Uh, from the administrator panel, we select the, the backup and uh, restore section. And for the time being, um, we will perform only a, a local backup. And uh, we don't have uh, any backup yet because our installation is a, is a fresh one. So we ask for the creation of uh, an instant backup. Uh, for sure, this could be also um, scheduled for a regular backup with a with specific rule. So it takes around uh, 10 seconds uh, on our uh, empty uh, DDI system for the, uh, the initial backup that is now available uh, locally. And uh, from this list, we can also download uh, this backup um, um, through our browser to our uh, desktop. Um, in order to have the, the, the backups uh, stored on a remote location, we can also add a, a remote uh, repository for backups. So here we specify the uh, parameters for an SFTP uh, remote uh, backup. So we specify the IP, the the, the, the port number, the remote uh, pass location for the for the backup files, and uh, also the the login, so it will be saved uh, locally on the uh, on the desktop for this uh, for this video. So we select um, SFTP as the storage method and um, and and a remote login that has been uh, created specifically. Um, here, here we select the, the also the log file we want to. Uh, to keep and, and the duration here, four days. Now that we have um, our remote uh, SFTP backup, um, it has also created a, an SSH key. Uh, the public part of the key uh, needs to be added to the server. So we copy the, the key from uh, the solid server and uh, we will add it to uh, the configuration of our local uh, storage uh, on, on the PC directly. Here it's an open SSH uh, backup, so we need to edit a file uh, manually and add the key, the public key of the solid server for the for the backup to be performed. So now we get a, a new backup. So we redo the the configure the the action, and uh, in addition to have this backup locally, it will be also pushed through SSH um, SFTP method uh, to our remote storage location. Here we have the, the backup in the list and this file and the storage location are also updated. 